Dada and Bussou, a phone speak family in Sierra Leone. In 1827, arrived in Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone, a British colony at the time, a phone speak family aboard of the Portuguese Brazilian vessel Conceição de Maria, which came from Bahia, Brazil, and embarked the family at Wilda as enslaved people. The family arrived in Freetown after more than a month at the sea. Person records about this family were found in three different documents held in archives in Sierra Leone and the UK. These documents were not replicas, despite the similarity of information recorded. Dada, the mother, was described in one of the registers as 20 years old and another 31 years old. Each aid estimated was recorded by a different clerk. She was also described with scarification on her temple. Dada, or Dadai, as her name appeared in one of the documents, was the mother of a baby boy identified as one year old or 60 months who survived this dreadful experience in his first months of life. His name is unfortunately unknown. The other person on board of the vessel, who is also identified as her son, was called Bussou or Busseau. He was 11 or 13 years old and 4 feet and 11 inches tall. They disembarked in Freetown on 15 of May of 1827. Given the age difference and the fact that Dada could be translated as older sister, it may be possible that Dada and Bussou were siblings, mother and son, or otherwise related. In one of the registers, it is written that he was her child. Before boarding the ship in Uyuda, Bosso experienced one of the worst acts of slavery, the branding. He and most of the children who were aboard of this vessel were marked with the symbol of a heart on their left arm. Bosso was also described as having cuts on his forehead and cheeks. It is probable that Dada and Busso would have had their life path separated upon arriving in Brazil, as Dada did not have her body branded with a hot iron, which means her owner was probably another person. Other source demonstrated that there was no mercy for pregnant women or new mothers as they were branded before embarkation, some even on their breasts when they were likely were still breastfeeding. After her arrived in Pierre Leon, Dada followed the rules at the time and left the King's Yard, the area of harbor where all liberated Africans were confined after disembarkation, just after a man chose her to marry. His name was Harry Frank, and he was likely to be also a liberated African. She moved to his house in Freetown with the two children. Different from most of the liberated African children who arrived in Sierra Leone, Bussot was not sent to apprenticeship, at least not immediately after his arrival. This is because Bussot had a family and he was their responsibility. He did not have a master and needed to work compulsory for 14 years as all liberated Africans. However, this was not the fate of most liberated African children. Research and Data Entry by Dr. Erika Melek Delgado. 